So, last April, and it's middle of August now, but last April I bought the home plate for myself here, and I, I recorded the, uh, the momentous event. I think I did a voiceover, but I had the mic muted, and so that was a matter of, uh, oh well. I thought, you know, now we had better... There's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. What's with the creepy look? Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. And so that's it. I figured I'd share this with you. This is how you get it. It's as simple as, as it is. All you need is 2,000 caps. And the home plate is yours, basically. You get a nice view of the city from up there, too. And as you look out there, just think to yourself, this this is the happy place in the game, basically. Comes up that way. And somehow I had difficulty finding my way out of there, but... Who needs a haircut? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. Care cares about you. Oh, okay, so we go into the home plate. Now I think there's I think there's supposed to be some commentary you could trigger from having Nick with you when you first go in. And he said absolutely nothing. Made not a single comment about any of it. As you can see, it's basically a warehouse full of crap. But I mean you could scrap all of it, so that's, you know hey, a useful thing. You need? Nick. How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? And then I was like... Still searching for them. Uh, just let me know when you manage to get your hands on them. I think that was like I was trying to trigger whatever... Like, whatever story he would tell you. Your, chest. your thoughts? You got a real do-gooder streak. That's rarer than it ought to be. I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. Now, I'd say we're pretty darn good considering what we're up against. Always more good to be done. Which is a subtle way of That's saying, all for now. Well, all right. do some more nice things. Now, you can't link this to a supply chain, so that's kind of, it's kind of important to get the, uh, as much scrap stuff in there as you can. I dumped a bunch of junk and, yeah, you know, cleaned up some stuff. I think I left the diagnostic cart, because the diagnostic cart kind of looks cool. But I don't need any construction barriers. That's for certain. Yeah, that's... Contents transferred. That's good. Yeah, that's... Nothing in the trunk. And now you're just watching me scrap stuff, which is kind of boring. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of stuff here. And you walk outside for the most part, and then I think there's happy music starts, and you've discovered home plate. And the <laughs> and yeah, that was that's pretty much it. But in case you ever wondered what that was like, we've recorded it for posterity, or posterior, or something. <laughs> 